Hi, my name is Dr. Jonathan Banks. I'm the director for the Master's in Experimental Psychology program in the Department of Psychology and Neuroscience in the College of Psychology at Nova Southeastern University. I want to thank you for your interest in our master's program and want to tell you a little bit about the application process and ways that we look for successful applicants. So as part of your application, you'll be asked to submit a personal statement, three letters of recommendation, transcripts, and GRE scores. Now the personal statement can be a very helpful and influential part of your application. In this personal statement, we get to know a little bit about who you are and your research interests, as well as what you might be interested in doing in your future. One piece of this that can be especially helpful as we look to review applications is identifying possible mentors uh, for our program. Although our program admits students to the program in general, as, a, as opposed to looking specifically for a faculty fit, it is important that we know that our students have a faculty mentor in mind and someone that they would be interested in working with. So as you start thinking about writing your personal statement, it can be very helpful to review our website to look for possible faculty mentors. Now we have faculty members in the department in a variety of different areas in psychology, from cognition to social psych to neuroscience and, and developmental psychology. It's really helpful to look at those faculty members and see what work they're currently doing. It can also be especially helpful to look out and, and email those faculty members to see if they are accepting students. It's possible you find someone you're interested in working with, but for some reason they're not accepting students that year. A second reason to reach out to those faculty members is to see uh, what work they're planning on doing and let them know that you are applying. This can start a possible discussion with that faculty member about the fit for the applicant in that faculty member's lab. A lot of times when we review applications, that fit is the most critical piece. So, our application deadline for the program is June 1st. However, we typically do not wait until that deadline to start reviewing applications. We like to do the best job in giving students uh, an answer relatively quickly after they apply. Successful applicants for our program have come from a variety of different areas. Sometimes they are students that have come directly out of our undergraduate programs, but for one reason or another didn't make it into a PhD program that they were interested in going to. For those students, our, our program can be a, a helpful uh, step up in direct, uh, directing them to a PhD program in the future. During the time in the program, they gain skills as well as presentations and hopefully publications that will give them a leg up when they apply to the PhD programs upon completion of our program. Another uh, category of applicants that we get often are ind individuals who have not come directly out of undergrad but have been working for a couple of years. For individuals who have come from industry or some other area, they may be interested in getting back into academia and our master's program can be a wonderful way for them to do that. So again, I encourage any applicant to reach out to faculty members in the department who they may be interested in working with, as well as reach out to me if they have any questions about the program in general. Thank you very much, and, I, and please contact me.